Okay guys, I have a new product here, a new toy. It is um, an LTL Acorn, or Little Acorn as I call it. It's a 12 megapixel trail cam, or um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, trail cam. You set it up on trails, on animal trails out in the bush, out in the forests, and it takes photos for you, both in colour and in black and white because it has a uh, night infrared mode. It also has video. And um, this particular one I've got is the LTL 5210A. And that's a 12 megapixel. The standard 5210 is only five megapixel. So go for the dash A, um, LTL 5210A, that's 12 megapixel. And with it, you also get a free SD card. Um, this is the box that it comes in. In it, you'll get instruction manual, warranty card, the tree strap, and um, your cables for attaching to your computer or um, your PC. Actually, this looks. This is for your TV, I believe. And I got this on eBay, and I got it from this mob, the Kitty Warehouse. I'll put the link uh, to their site on the video here somewhere, or down in the description box. They had the best price for Australian customers. Uh, yep. um, what you get, digital camera, additional battery box, TV, AV in cable, USB cable, the strap, external DC cable, instruction manual and warranty card. Okay, enough of the paperwork, let's get to the goodies. Alright, this is the unit that I got. Now you have a choice of uh, camouflage, which is uh, very similar to Realtree. If um, if not, it may actually be Realtree. I know that's a brand name, but um, that's all I know what to call it. Maybe another word for it is realistic camo. But I went for the more sort of the black look because I also want to use it occasionally as a surveillance camera. So. Yeah, I went for black. Thing is, it's not actually black. It's more like a very dark chocolate brown. The backing plate is much darker, very much like a black. Okay, now let's have a look at the entire unit. This is with its backing plate attached, which also has an extra battery compartment inside. It also has this screw here, which is at the moment is not actually attached to the camera. So what I'll do is I'll show you how that works. There you go. So as you look at it from the side, this is your camera, and this is your back plate with extra battery compartment. You have a lock down here for the base. You have a side clip on the left and a clip on the right. And as you've just seen me do, you can also screw that in. That goes through into the body of the camera. So by right, when you undo that, and you undo that, still attached. This is mainly for when you have it um, linked up onto the tree. You can't just go up and unclip it and walk away with it. It just slows down any just slows down any thieves that may come across it. They'll unclip that and unclip that and it won't come off because it's actually screwed on. So what they then gotta do is they have to remove the back strap. They actually have to remove 
and undo this from the tree which also feeds around it. There you go. Right, at the bottom here you can see, see that? That hole is so you can actually feed a small, if you have one, a small padlock through there. That stops the base from being able to open up. But normally you just use this little snap here, like that. And then once that's undone, you then pop the base open, like that. Now inside the base, you have power plug, TV out. USB off, on, test, and SD card. Here you have your battery compartment, which took four batteries. As you're looking at it, the left side, positive goes down, on the right side, positive comes up and the little indicators is just there, negative and positive. Now on the face of it, at the top you've got the infrared um, lights, a little LED lights inside. You've also got a little LED light here which blinks uh, blue and red. Um, is it blue and red or orange or red? blue and red and by looking at that you can tell what the camera itself is actually doing then you actually have your lens in here and you sometimes you'll be able to see a little orange filter which moves back and forth and you can also hear that as sort of like a clicking sound then you have your motion detectors and these are the two that shoot out from the side so it gives you a 100 degree field of view and then you have the brand embossed on here LTL Acorn now apparently there are a lot of forgeries out there and the first thing you need to look for is that name if it's got LTL Acorn right here then it's genuine if it's blank then you're looking at a forgery so it just makes me wonder why the forgers just simply didn't copy that as well Oh well. um, on the back you have your viewing screen at the top here you've got two little pins two little um, brass yeah brass pins uh, two little brass pads now they link up with the external battery pack they link up to these two so never put any metal across there and never put any metal across these. Okay, open it up with the batteries in it, fully charged, and go to test mode. Now it's asking me for my security pin. Yeah. Okay, now at the moment, not sure if you can see that on the screen, but it's everything on the monitor is flicking between color and black and white. I'll record some for you. Okay, once it starts recording it's, it's stayed in the color mode. But I'll show you a replay of that. do is 
I'll close the blinds and turn the light off. Okay, straight away it's gone into black and white mode, infrared. So I'll press shot, which gives me the camera recording. There we go. I'll do something different. What I'll do is underneath the staircase, we got a small room which is pitch black because there's no lighting. I'll just literally stick the camera in there. And there we have it. I'll stop it now. And I'll go back to review mode. Ready, go. And play. There you go, that was the infrared. Go back to live. Now if I can do this right. Just be able to see that. Anyway, that should switch to colour as soon as I open the blinds. Yep, it's back on colour. Okay, here's a footage of Phil and I testing the camera on the day it actually arrived. Now, it was night time and we got one single kitchen light on. And as you can see, the corner over there is quite dark. So Phil turned the light off and this is the camera filming normally without infrared. As you can see, or in this case as you can't see, there isn't anything there. So I'll do that again, but we'll turn the infrared function of the camera on. And here we go. The room's in total darkness the glowing spots down on the floor that's reflective tape from my ambulance jacket and it's totally pitch black the camera is actually good 
because you can walk through and you can see where everything is without tripping on anything. Here I am going outside. And the range of the infrared is about 20 feet, I think it said. It's filming in through the window. And there's Phil. The infrared light is actually causing obstruction because it's bouncing off the fly screen. But the range is a good 20 feet. And here we're talking about the, um, the flash going off. And here I'm at Harry's place. Now, even though he's got the kitchen light on, it's still um, so dark that the camera turned the infrared on by itself. And we're about to go outside. And the end of the house, down the far end there, Hang on a second. Yeah, the far end of the house, the far end of the yard, sorry, down there, that's about 30 feet away. And the, the far right corner, that's about 32 feet. And there's Lucy. Yes, I can see you giving me the finger. Look at Lucy's eyes. Lucy! What are you doing, Lucy? Looking for a ball. There it is. It's a tennis ball. Get it. And she brings it back. Okay. So there you go guys. It's um it's very effective for night vision and it's motion sensitive, so you'll see more of this in upcoming videos. For those of you all around the world who end up buying one of these or already has one. Um, if you want a really good website where you can get information about um, camera reviews of different models, go to ronburyswildlife.com.